Hello everyone. Today we are here to discuss about air brake system in locomotive and its periodic overhauling in Jamalpur workshop. The following video contains the basic requirements and features of Indian Railway air brake system, the basic sub assemblies of Indian Railway air brake system, and its POH in Jamalpur workshop. Requirements from an air brake system. Locomotive pilot must be able to apply and release brakes from the cabin. It should also be possible to apply and release brakes only in the locomotive and not in the train. Example if the loco is running light. Braking force should be variable to apply only the required braking force so that there is no over braking. The train guard should be able to apply the brakes from the guard van. In case of emergency, passenger should also be able to apply brakes. Example in case of a fire. The system should be fail safe. That is, if the brake system of a train fails, it should come to halt. Salient features of Indian Railway Air Brake System Using the SN9 wall, driver can apply brakes in locomotive only and has no effect on train. There is another wall called as A9 or automatic brake wall using which the driver can apply brakes in the train as well as the locomotive. The system is suitable for multiple unit operations. Now as you know, multiple unit is formed when two or more locomotives are coupled together and the driver sitting in one locomotive is able to automatically control all the other locomotives of the multiple unit. It is possible to apply emergency brake if so required. This allows the train to stop in the minimum possible distance. There are other safety devices to halt the train in case of train parting. Automatic brakes and dynamic brakes are interlocked which means as soon as the dynamic brake is applied, automatic brake will be released. The system can work in both single as well as dual pipe operations. Independent brake system or the SNI brake wall. It is only applied in the locomotives. The brake handle has three positions, application, release and quick release. In the release position, the pilot air pressure is 2.5 kg per centimeter square. On applying the brakes, the pilot air pressure gets reduced to 0 kg per centimeter square. For releasing the brakes, the handle is moved to the quick release position where the pilot air gets exhausted from the exhaust port of SA9 and hence the brakes are released. First of all, pressure of 10 kg per centimeter square in the ML9 enters SA9 wall and gets reduced to 2.5 kg per centimeter square. Now this reduced air called as pilot air goes to MU2B valve from where it goes to C2 relay valve through a double check valve. The main purpose of double check valve is to cut off the pilot air coming from A9 valve during the application of SA9 brake. The C2 relay valve has a diaphragm type mechanism which balances the 10 kg per centimeter square air pressure coming from MR9 and the pilot air pressure of 2.5 kg per centimeter square coming from the SA9 brake valve. Now on applying the brakes, the pilot air pressure reduces to zero which results in the release of 2.5 kg per centimeter square pressure from the MR line which goes to the brake cylinder and ultimately applies the brakes. On releasing the brakes, the pilot air between C2 relay valve and brake cylinder is exhausted from the exhaust port of the C2 relay valve and the remaining pilot air is exhausted from the exhaust port of SA9 brake valve, hence the brake of locomotive is released. Automatic or synchronized brake system, also known as A9 brake valve. It is applied in both locomotive as well as train. It is a compact self lapping pressure maintaining brake valve which is capable of graduating the application or release of locomotive and train brakes. It has five positions, release, minimum reduction, full service, over reduction, and emergency. It maintains a 5 kg per centimeter square pressure in the brake pipe system against normal leakage at its release position. It also maintains air pressure drop in the system according to its handle position. In the release position, the pilot air pressure is 5 kg per centimeter square. In the minimum reduction, it is 4.5 kg per centimeter square. In service, it is 3.5 kg per centimeter square. In over reduction, it is 2.5 kg per centimeter square. And in the emergency position, the pilot air pressure is 0 kg per centimeter square. 
basics of assemblies of air brake system compressor compressor is used to compress the air to the required pressure this hot air is then fed into the cooling coil where it is cooled this high pressure cold air enters into the main reservoir from here it goes into the air dryer which absorbs the moisture present in it this air is then allowed to pass through the air filter which filters the unwanted particles resulting in clean and cooled high pressure air which is then used for the brake application sa9 and a9 volt five panel fit which is present in the notch compartment it contains many valves in one place distributor valve and auxiliary reservoir its main function is to feed dry compressed air for the application of brakes to the braking cylinders brake cylinders brake cylinders consist of a piston assembly the compressed air pushes the piston in the cylinder the piston is connected through a mechanical linkage to a brake shoe that rub on the train wheels and using the resulting friction to slow the train now coming to the periodic overhauling of the air brake system in jamalpur workshop first of all the locomotive is brought from the delhi end but if there is too much traffic on delhi side then it is brought from the kolkata end and by using crane it is brought to the stripping section this locomotive is brought either in life position or in dead position if the loco is in starting position then initial testing is done and the corresponding values are noted in the stripping section dismantling is done and all the items are sent to the air brake section all the rubber parts rubber housing pipes spring washers and corroded nut bolts are to be changed these are must change items and are to be changed every time when a locomotive is brought for its poh for valve and air dryer first of all cleaning is done using petrol and kerosene and all the components are dried by the compressed air valves are put on testing stands for different types of tests for a9 and sa9 the bp pressure is set and drop in bp for different position of brake handles are noted and leakages are checked resistance of the handle movement and sensitivity of valves are also checked inlet valves exhaust valve cam cam dogs and springs are checked for corrosion or any type of damage if any damage is present in any of the part then the corresponding part is changed by a new one assemble the cam housing with the body and renew all the o-rings in the inlet and exhaust valves also renew all the rubber item before assembling lightly smear the bore of the bush and the o-ring with grease after all the parts are assembled the painting is done for rust prevention before opening the distributor valve it needs to be dusted and cleaned externally the disassembling and assembling of dv in the workshop is facilitated by the using of bench mounted dv holding fixture with facility to rotate through 360 degree in the vertical plane and locking it after 90 degree of rotation following tests are carried out to ensure proper functioning of distributor valve pressure tightness test charging time full service application and release overcharge protection test cr overcharge reduction test emergency application quick service test sensitivity test defeeding test graduated application test graduated release test quick release test and control reservoir check valve reset test if leakage rate of the system is not within the specified limits then ex examine the repair or replace seals gaskets of pipe and joint fitting finally painting is done and the distributor valve is sent to the air brake section for dismantling of reservoir unscrew the drain plug and drain the water accumulated in the tank cleaning of parts examine the outer surface for any pitting scale or rusting clean the exterior of reservoir and drain plug using the wire brush dry the interior with air jet resin the reservoir with rustoline and so rust 392 
paint reservoir on exterior with two coats of zinc chromium primer and enamel each. For checking the leakage on the external surface of the reservoir, hydraulic test is done. On identification of a leakage, the welding is done if possible, otherwise the whole system is to be replaced by a new one. All items from the corresponding section are brought for assembly. After cleaning of locomotive, assembly is done. After the assembly, testing in brake pipe and feed pipe are done. If any of the values are not suitable according to the RDSO recommendation, then there must be leakage present. Then the idle run of engine is done and one person from the air brake section is there with the driver. After the air brake test standards for Indian Railway air brake system for diesel and electric locomotive, if the readings are as per the RDSO recommendation, then the locomotive is ready for dispatch.